I remember working in the system development field as a user experience designer in the very early days and watching the software staff develop systems using just flat files. Everything was built into that single flat file. All of the algorithms, all the statements to the user, and it was very inflexible and it took a long time. And then there was a huge breakthrough. And that breakthrough was when the software development community realized they could take the subroutines, make them separate, and have these objects that could be reused. These objects that provided flexibility so that when they had a new kind of problem, they could easily adapt to it. And that was a huge breakthrough for them. And why can't we do that in the UX field? In the UX field, we have lots of objects. We work with different kinds of user profiles, with different kinds of scenarios, in different kinds of environments, with different kinds of artifacts and different kinds of needs and opportunities. We work on multiple projects that impact multiple applications that we design. We follow standards using different kinds of methods. We have all of these different kinds of objects and why do we keep doing everything in a PowerPoint? What we could do is move away from that. Sure, we're still going to have presentations, but why can't most of our work be done in a set of objects and the presentation use those objects? Then we'll keep building a knowledge of our customer, keep building a knowledge of the ecosystems that we work in. And as that knowledge builds, we'll have to redo less and less work. I see so many organizations that redo the same studies because somebody leaves and it's kind of gone, it's somewhere in a SharePoint document manager among 300 other documents that come up when you put in that username. It's just very inefficient. So it's time that the UX field begin to work in an object-oriented way. And the UX Enterprise tool set is designed to support that because it's a relational database of UX objects.